For step one of the attack, we've set up a poison tenant in Euclino, and we're now going to use the built-in email invite functionality to invite our target users. We enter their email address, we click to invite, and then Nucleino will send an email to that user from its own domains, inviting them to our poison tenant. If we then look at our team settings, we'll see that there is a pending invite for that user waiting for them to respond to the invite they've had. For step two of the attack, we're going to look at the target user now who's received the email invite from Nucleino. And we can see that it's from a legitimate Nucleino domain, uh, not from an attacker control domain. So when the target user clicks the button to join, they're then prompted to enter their details uh, in order to create an account as the first step. And once they've done that, so basically a one-step process, they then have an account with Nucleino and they are then automatically joined to the poison tenant. For the final step of the attack chain, we will look at the SAML jacking portion. Here we are looking at the configuration panel for SSO settings for the poison tenant. We've configured them to point to an NGROC domain that we control for testing purposes. Obviously, an attacker could register a more convincing domain if they so wish. We are now going to click to enforce SSO logins, which will result in Nucleino prompting existing users by email to link their accounts to their SSO identity. Looking at the email the target receives, we can see it's a legitimate email from Nucleino domains with a link that points to a Nucleino domain, so there's no real cause for suspicion. The first path to compromise is if the target responds to this email directly. Clicking the button in the email, we can see we are immediately redirected to our malicious SSO server, and that shows us a fake Google login page in this case. If the user enters their credentials here, then the attack is complete. Alternatively, the target may not see the email or may not immediately respond to it and continue to use their authenticated session with Nucleino. Eventually, this session will expire, which we are going to simulate in this case just by logging out. This will cause existing tabs and links to redirect back to the tenant-specific login page. We can see this now has a large button prompting to login via SSO. If the user clicks this button to log in now, then they are immediately directed to our malicious SSO page where they can enter their credentials for capture.